Oh my god. Oh, they are hollowing that thing out. They're just falling out. All right, so something about uh, termites is that they will only eat dead wood. So they don't destroy a living tree, but they may take a weak part of a tree off. Uh, so this pile of wood here right in front of our house is a, is a lot of the trees that fell down after Hurricane Maria and some of the trees that we had to clear in order to build the property five years ago, the, the house five years ago or so. Um, so you'll see termites set up shop like this one, this ter termite nest. Um, but we don't really worry about them because, not for the house anyway, because what they are is the um, cleanup crew for the forest. So anytime a tree falls down that's dead or um, has to be taken down, they go to work cleaning it up and clearing it out of the forest. So they're an important part of the ecosystem. So we're, we actually really love um, all, the, all the cleanup crew that's out here, the carpenter ants, the termites. Um, they all play an essential role in the forest. They're also a, a food source for other creatures uh, in the jungle, the frogs and bats and other things that might find them uh, going along. So we have no problem with termites except for when they're in our house and they start eating our furniture or the wood of our house. So um, that's just, I just want to point out that we are fans of termites as long as they're not eating our stuff. So here we are today fighting termites. Uh, we noticed one day that our trim right above it, there's a little trail of uh, what termites leave behind. They, they build these little canals. Um, when we pulled the trim off, it was infested in here with termites and all their wood trailings. And it got so bad along the top here that the, we had to throw away this piece because it had been eaten so bad. And they're subterranean, so you don't see them. They came in through the door jam underneath the house, no indication whatsoever until we saw a little piece. So what happened is, is these trim pieces aren't treated. Any wood that's been treated, they won't touch because it's got poison essentially in them. Like um, the rest of the house. Like the rest of the house. The walls that are framed with two by fours are all treated lumber, so they're fine. They never touch that stuff. This trim is untreated. So what we have found to do is to treat it ourselves with some, uh, we don't like to use poisons, but there's a poison that they sell at Home Depot that we used for it. And it, uh, mix it with water and spray it. If we um, spray this wood with that poison too, they don't touch it again, because then it's essentially treated. Um, so that's the fix. And so I found is underneath the house, you can actually see the trail. Here is an example of these termite trails. They're subterranean, so they actually have their nest in the ground, but then they come up these columns and they build their little tunnels. Um, these are probably chewed up wood that they make it out of, but it goes all the way up and then into the house. So we have to inspect these columns and make sure that they, we don't see any of these trails. But look at how good the rest of the wood is. Yeah, the rest of this wood is perfect shape. It's all treated, they won't touch anything that's been treated. So but there's a little bit misconception about wood houses in the tropics and termites. They don't touch the treated stuff. They'll eat your furniture and your trim if it hasn't been treated. So that, that's another story. Here is what we use. Um, we buy it at Home Depot. It's an insect killer that kills fleas, ticks, ants, uh, grubs, moles, and it works well on um, termites too. So you just mix that with some water, spray it on, don't touch the stuff, it's pretty nasty, but it's what we have to use to get by, otherwise we'd be replacing everything every year. Here's another example of termite trail. Um, they will build anywhere and everywhere and they want to be out of sight, so they're really sneaky. Here's another example of termites. This axe handle is uh, not treated wood, or pickaxe. They don't treat these like they do 2x4s and lumber, and the termites just completely devoured it. Um, and then it's weakened and then the axe handle just comes and breaks right off. 